What is up guys, it's BT back here again with another review. Today we are going to be looking at the Audio Technica ANC 700 BT, their newest release in their wireless noise cancellation line of headphones. Now be warned, these are not bass headphones. And again, I repeat, these are not bass headphones. So if you are here for that reason, look somewhere else. But if you are here for more of a bright sounding headphone, then you are in the right place. Now that we got that out of the way, don't forget to subscribe guys for more content like this. My goal is to get out at least two reviews for you guys a week. So make sure you're subscribed to see all the new content. So let's start off with the comfort in design. Now I love the all black matte design of these headphones. These things are really, really sexy. They have that 3.5 millimeter input, a USB input for charging and touch controls for controlling playback. Tapping the logo will play the song or pause and also it skips tracks. Tapping on the top or bottom will increase or decrease the sound levels and swiping up and down changes songs. I found the controls to be very sensitive, which isn't a bad thing as they always work, but these aren't the best for like flights if you're laying your head somewhere or working out as any touch could stop your song at any point. The ear cups are decently comfortable, not as good as like Bose or Sony, but I can wear them for a long period of time. There is no case, which is kind of a letdown at $180. I mean, any protection for these headphones, especially when you're traveling, would have been great, like a case or a pouch. Anything would have been great. Like I said in the intro, these are super bright and can almost be a little bit too sharp at times. The bass is present, but for EDM rap and R&B, it can be a little lackluster. It can be tricky balancing headphones that have a bright sound signature, but unlike bass, if you have too much, well, I guess you can never have too much bass, can you? If you have too much on the high end, it can really ruin the experience and can be unpleasant like nails running across a chalkboard. And that's how I explain these. These would have been great if they had some kind of app to really help with the sound signature so you can tailor it to what you want. The noise cancellation on these headphones, I would rate as good, but not great. I definitely put them behind Sony and Bose, but they will get the job done in most cases. Not great for blocking out voices and things like that at the gym, but coupled with a higher volume, it can block out most noise. Another thing is these leak a lot of sound. Now the mic is probably the worst part of these headphones. The mic is just terrible. I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not gonna do any tests. These things are just bad. You sound like a robot. Um, these are definitely just for listening only. I wouldn't go make calls with these. So if you're on calls while traveling and things like that, that's important, don't even bother. The battery life is also really good. I use this for about a week and I still have not charged these bad boys. So 25 hours, I'm fairly confident that that's what you will get with these headphones. All right, guys, that is my time for this video. These can definitely be hit or miss. If treble is your thing, they are a definite hit, but they do have their cons to them. And with no way to really control the treble, they can be a little bit harsh sometimes. The noise cancellation is also really good as well, but there are just far too many options out there that can give you a better experience for the same price. Just like the Sony's I just reviewed. They're the same price, but they give you better noise cancellation and you can control the sound. To me, that's a no brainer. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.